Uh, it's been another big week and uh, obviously we've got a week ahead of us that's quite significant in the sense that uh, we've got two days where we'll see um, fire danger ratings in the very high and severe categories. Those days are obviously Tuesday the 11th uh, where we've got uh, weather already um, forecast for very high in most districts, severe in the Mallee and Wimmera and total fire bans in four districts which is the Mallee, Wimmera, South West and Central. Um, it's very interesting that we're back into those grassland fire conditions again where the predominant is about grasslands uh, where fires would, uh, if they were to start, would run really fast and uh, have the potential to do damage. So that's something people need to be very mindful of. And it's been warm weather and even the nights have been quite warm across Victoria. Uh, the next key, key day is Saturday on the forecast where again it will be very high, potentially severe, um, again wind, a southwesterly change. But what will follow it is potential of uh, reasonably good rains across Victoria. So we could see 20, 30, 40 millimetres of rain in some parts, if not all of Victoria on Sunday. So this week, um, obviously Tuesday, uh, nice weather then, uh, again on, on, on Saturday, uh, followed by what will be rain on Sunday. So that tells us, I suppose, a bit of a message to everyone to stay tuned, uh, make sure we've got our capabilities right and certainly the community messaging that we're not out of it. We've left summer, we've moved into a different, uh, a different season, but we've still got to be very mindful that it's very, very dry, um, extremely dry in the west and central parts of Victoria, uh, and those conditions are conducive to run fires. So if we have a fire start, um, we could see that uh, occur. The other one worth mentioning today is certainly Hazelwood uh, open cut fire. Yesterday, on Monday the 10th, uh, we changed the status of the fire from a going fire to that controlled. And when we say controlled, it means you won't see extension of the fire. Um, it's unlikely to expect an outbreak from the fire, but inside the fire area, there's still some smoke issuing. There's still some hot spots that will require significant work with earth moving equipment and firefighters. And we intend to ensure that firefighters remain um, working with the mines people up until the 18th, so another week of hard work to make sure that we can take it from control to safe. And one of the things that will be the best thing that happens in uh, the Hazelwood fire is rain on Sunday. That will be absolutely fantastic to see that final bit occur. So when we say uh, we remain in place, MFB, CFA, DEPI, Parks, um, Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, South Australia and Tasmania are still all there along with air services and the big air t air airport tenders are no longer just Victorian ones, they brought them in from interstate and crews from uh, the major airports across Australia. So it's a huge operation. Um, the figures that they reported on Friday were 7,000 firefighters have been assessed through the health assessment area of the fire. That's 7,000 individuals and some of those have been on two or three rotations. So it's, it's big numbers of firefighters over a 29-day period We've made it to controlled, but we still haven't got the fire to a safe status yet. That's probably another week of hard work. And even after that, we'll still have to work closely with the mine to tidy up some things and bring the trucks out and clean them up to get them back home. So, so it's a huge operation. And uh, obviously the Morwell community have uh, had a lot. Uh, they've, uh, they've suffered a lot. They've had a lot of uh, uh, smoke over their town. It's uh, had impacts in many ways. And obviously the recovery side of it will be a key aspect now to work with that community to get them back to where they should be. So thank you.